This is one of the most horrifying fast food dishes I've ever seen in my life. And by golly, we're gonna make it better. So the KFC Double Down, wow, here we are. It's been requested for a long time, but guess what? It hasn't been out for what, like two, three, four years? Honestly, I wouldn't have minded if they just kept it dead. It's literally just a chicken sandwich with no bun. I think we can make it a little more intentional, meaningful, obviously better. But I do wanna let you know, once everything's said and done, I have a little surprise for you at the end. So with all that being said, let's make this, shall we? Yeah, KFC. Most of them are like KFC Taco Bells, which is crazy, by the way. The Double Down is back. How would you rate the building with these stripes? Well, we've got the clown vibes with the bird poop. I got something in my eye. The second I opened the window, the second I opened it, that is a one out of 10 for that. Menu, you know, they still haven't updated the screen, so I'm also giving that a one out of 10. I'm sorry. We're going hard on them today. It's the double down. So I'm doubling down. Can I get two double downs? That's it. It's one person. Thank you. I don't have an issue with that service. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. The only reason I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10, just because it was weird. Not her, just the fact that there was nobody in there but her, and she was just vibing out the music alone. All right, let's go. If I get one more, the end. About me looking like this gentleman, I'm deleting this channel. I shouldn't have said that. It's almost like I walked into a room and opened a door, and there was a dead body laying there. It smells like peanut butter. Okay, I need someone to come smell this. Oh my goodness, it does. It's literally peanut butter. <laughs> God, it's dry as I will say, the flavor's not that bad. The MSG is hitting. There is probably no worse sandwich you can eat. This is like the bottom of the ocean floor. So since we know that it's there, it's time to bury it. You know, KFC made one absolutely fatal error when they made the Double Down. Nearly every successful fast food chicken sandwich has something that this one for some reason chose not to have. I'm not talking about the buns, as weird as it is without them. I'm talking about one thing and one thing only, pickles. Why KFC, why would you do this? So we're starting with a very quick bread and butter pickle. First cut one large English cucumber or three pickling cucumbers about an eighth of an inch thick, finger death trap, AKA mandolin, optional. And place into a one quart size jar. Get a medium sauce pot, add one cup or 200 grams of sugar, a quarter cup or 75 grams of salt, one and a half teaspoons or half a gram of turmeric powder, one teaspoon or five grams of celery seed, two tablespoons or 30 grams of mustard seeds, two cups or 480 milliliters of white distilled vinegar, half a cup or 120 milliliters of water, set that under the stove over medium high and as soon as it reaches a boil and the sugar is dissolved, pour that over your cucumbers, keep those bad boys submerged using a small bowl or plastic wrap until room temp and then you have bread and butter pickles. Yeah, that's actually it. So you can stop overthinking everything in the kitchen and have a beautiful time with your pickles. Now the chicken. Yes, it will in fact contain the supposed secret 11 herbs and spices. In the breading, but first we marinate these little guys. Large bowl. Add two cups or 475 milliliters of buttermilk, one and a half teaspoons or eight grams of MSG, one tablespoon or 11 grams of kosher salt, one tablespoon or 10 grams of garlic powder, two teaspoons or six grams of ground white pepper, one tablespoon or six grams of sweet paprika. Whisk together till combined, then add eight skinless and boneless chicken thighs. And that's enough to make four total sandwiches, which is disgusting and a matter of fact. Now massage that marinade in lovingly, delectable. Maybe delectable is not the right word. And honestly, you're welcome to bread and fry right away, but ideally these will be marinated overnight in the fridge. Now, when you are emotionally, physically, and metaphysically prepared to fry, get yourself a large heavy bottom pot filled about halfway with vegetable oil, heated to 350 Fahrenheit. It'll be around two and a half to three quarts of vegetable oil for a seven to eight quart pot for your dredge or breading or coating, whatever the hell you want to call it. Large bowl. You want space in this bowl. No, wait, no, not that kind of space. Just like room. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Get a bowl too small. You got flour flying everywhere. Now add three cups or 450 grams of all-purpose flour and get ready because it's 11 herbs and spices. So here we go. <sighs> Add two teaspoons or nine grams of MSG. Mwah, love you. Two tablespoons or 24 grams of kosher salt. One teaspoon or one gram of dried thyme. One teaspoon or one gram of dried oregano. Two teaspoons or six grams of fresh ground black pepper. One and a half teaspoons or nine grams of ground white pepper. One tablespoon or 12 grams of garlic powder. Two teaspoons or nine grams of sweet paprika. <coughs> oh my God. Two teaspoons or five grams of celery powder. Two teaspoons or five grams of mustard powder. Two and a half teaspoons or five grams of ginger powder. Oh my God. Whisk everything together until thoroughly combined and pause. You remember my technique for chicken flakier than your friends from high school? Flick a couple of tablespoons of your marinade into your flour mix and whisk vigorously. This will get little beads of hydrated flour in your mix to keep things flaky and crispy. It's science. Bead goes onto the chicken, bead adheres, bead flattens, bead turns into little flake. That's how it works. And just a quick, you're welcome, when the thousands of TikTok cooks copy this on their videos. Enjoy. Now add your chicken from the marinade into the dredge and coat thoroughly. Press that flour mix aggressively into the chicken so it sticks. No nook or cranny is safe from Papa.
Shake up the excess flour and repeat with all of your chicken. Once that's all breaded, fry two chicken thighs at a time, laying your chicken away from you to avoid splashing hot oil all over your face. Please don't do that. And fry those bad boys at 350 Fahrenheit for six to eight minutes or until CGBD. Crispy, golden brown, delicious. Oh, and also the inside is cooked to at least 165 Fahrenheit. Drain on a wire rack and repeat with all of your chicken. Now, while that's frying, we're gonna make a Cajun-esque remoulade. Get yourself a tall one quart cup that an immersion blender will easily fit in. Add two egg yolks, three tablespoons or 63 grams of Creole mustard, two cloves of garlic grated, two tablespoons or 28 grams of fresh grated horseradish, one and a half teaspoons or five grams of lemon juice, two tablespoons or 28 grams of water, half a teaspoon or three grams of salt, half a teaspoon or one gram of fresh ground black pepper, then gently pour in one cup or 240 milliliters of vegetable oil, thanks to the physics of oil that will float nicely on top, and slowly submerge an immersion blender until it touches the bottom. Now let that weed whacker 9000 of the kitchen rip. Blend getting every little angle so you have a smooth emulsified mayo through and through. Now add two teaspoons or three grams of your favorite Cajun seasoning half a teaspoon or half a gram of cayenne powder, one teaspoon or two grams of smoked paprika, two teaspoons or nine grams of Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon or 15 grams of Louisiana hot sauce, whisk all that together, and that's your Cajun remoulade. Something about sauces that look like this just scream, I'm really good, and you want to eat me. Don't take that audio bit the wrong direction. You can also whip up some bacon, get yourself one pound or 450 grams of bacon cooked, however you like, till crispy, floppy, if you like it flaccid, that's just fine, I don't judge. I do mine in a large pan over medium heat, constantly flipping until medium crispy and browned. Train on a paper towel. And before we assemble, don't forget, this is the double down. So after we do all this, I'm gonna do something that I'm calling the quadruple down, which we'll find out later. Anyway, bottom bun, which is uh, just a piece of fried chicken, a slice of Swiss cheese melted with a torch or under a broiler, a slice of American cheese, also melted. Add on a few slices of cooked bacon, a selection of your bread and butter pickles, artfully and evenly dispersed. Spread your remoulade on another piece of fried chicken, the top bun, I suppose. This is weird, man. Crown your weird king. And let's taste test. I didn't want to do this, but here we are. Something about this sandwich feels epic, right? It's like this just huge thing. KFC recycling is what it is. There might be something here. Kendrick, don't shake your head at me. I'm just hear me out. The crunch is there. This is our KFC recipe. So the chicken's already tippity top in comparison. But as a sandwich, I'm happy with this. I don't actually want buns. I think this is a dub. But we can't finalize without a taste test. You ready? I'm Greek Orthodox. I fast from meat for 40 days during Lent. This is a once in a lifetime sandwich. I'm sorry, you gotta do what you gotta do. I never suggested that he had to do this. He was just like, I'm breaking Lent for this. So number one. Two, you ready? That was easily the best fried chicken I've ever eaten in my life. Which one? Yeah. Number two. Yeah. <laughs> the pickle mixed with the bacon and the sauce. Like the chicken really felt like the bun, which you never feel before. Yeah. So it's like kind of an ultimate sandwich. Yeah, that's what I thought was weird. I was expecting it to be like, oh, where's the bun? I didn't miss the bun, which is why I kind of like the sandwich. We added a pickle and we kicked KFC right in their pickle. Is that monetizable? <laughs> that was kind of an easy dub. So let's take this to the next level with the quadruple down. It's time. We're taking this to a place that it probably never needed to be, but let's be honest, it shouldn't have existed mm -hmm. anyway, so let's take it to the max. You first need to have at least one assembled double down. Now, what are we gonna do to this? We're gonna turn it into the most ridiculous chimichanga. This feels wrong on every single level and yet unbelievably poetic in a way. First, a quick jalapeno avocado salsa. Get seven jalapenos charred on all surfaces over an open flame. Uh, don't forget the fire alarm going off is essential for flavor. Once they're done, place into a bowl covered with plastic wrap for five minutes, then skin each of them, remove their stems. Then to a blender, you're gonna add one whole medium avocado peeled and pitted. Your prepped jalapenos, seeds and all, 10 cloves of fresh garlic peeled, half a bunch of cilantro, a splash of water, and salt to taste. Blend on high speed until it begins to vortex. You may need to add a touch more water. Once it's as smooth as possible, slowly stream in half a cup or 125 milliliters of vegetable oil while constantly blending for that emulsification. Turn off your blender, pour into a bowl, optionally add a touch of lime juice to taste, and add salt if needed. That's it. Now you can't have a chimichanga without beans, unless you don't like beans, which is fine to each their own. But these are really good and easy. Sauce pot. Add a touch of vegetable oil, just enough to coat the bottom. Heat over medium, and once that's hot, add in one white onion, finely chopped. Don't forget to squirt yourself in the eye with onion juice. That's actually really good for developing the flavor. Five cloves of garlic, thinly sliced. Season lightly with salt, and saute until softened and browned about five minutes. Then add two tablespoons of 32 grams of tomato paste and saute until it begins to stick to the bottom. Fall that with one tablespoon or eight grams of smoked paprika and two teaspoons or four grams of ancho chili powder. Cook for 30 seconds, then add one 15 ounce or 440 gram can of pinto beans. And we glaze with half a cup or 120 milliliters of chicken stock. Let that simmer, stirring occasionally over medium heat for six minutes, then turn off the heat and adjust the salt levels as needed. If you want a pico, you can make a very basic one with half a red onion, brunoise, one tomato de-seeded and finely diced, and one jalapeno de-seeded and also brunoise. Season a taste with salt and a little splash of extra virgin olive oil. And now we can assemble 
assemble this beast. First, slice your double down sandwich in half lengthwise. Place one half with the cut side facing down on a large warmed burrito sized tortilla. Layer on your beans, a touch of your pico, shredded cheese of your choice. I use Monterey Jack. Roll that up nice and toit. And for extra safety, you can skewer the lip of your tortilla that sticks out down so that it doesn't open for what's about to happen next. Place your Frankenstein monster into your same fryer at 350 Fahrenheit and fry until golden brown and crispy. About five minutes. Remove, drain in a wire rack and allow to cool for one minute. Then remove all your toothpicks so it doesn't look like the end of a medieval mace. Lay down a fat couple dollops of your jalapeno salsa on a plate, tap the bottom for some Westawan industry magic. You know, nice little flat circle of sauce. Place your chimichanga atop your sauce. Add a nice light quenelle of your sour cream, a little spoonful of pico, and a few little leaves of fresh cilantro. You know, kind of like putting makeup on something from a horror movie. <sighs> Now I guess we're just gonna have to find out how this tastes. I didn't make this to feel proud. The question is why? I don't wanna look at that. Wait, hear me out. I'm telling you, Kendrick, it's good. I know this is wrong. I hate it. I also wanted to experiment. It does not look that bad. It's good. Yes! Is that what you want? The flavors strangely blend really well together. Everything about this is an abomination, but it Tastes so good. And that's what the KFC Double Down is all about. But you wanna know what this is all about? B-roll. 